Hey, Tactical Family, this is Mike. Welcome back to the Tactical Llama. Today we have another tabletop review for you. We've had this one for a little while. We've been sitting on it before we did a review because we wanted to put a good amount of rounds through it. And so I think we're uh, over 500 rounds through this rifle. So I think we want to talk about our thoughts, what it is, how it performed, Hey, is it worth buying? Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Before the intro, we told you we were gonna talk about a rifle that we're pretty happy with. And I'm gonna be honest with you, initially I wasn't sold on it. But after shooting it and playing with it, I love it, I think it's awesome. So this is a friend of mine's rifle, this is Jeremy's. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to his channel, check him out. Before we get going though, I wanna say thank you to everyone who watches our content and subscribes to the channel. I look at my data, I know 98% of you, if not a little more, do not subscribe when you watch our content. Please, please, please take the time to subscribe, maybe hit that, that notification bell like and share it goes so far in helping our channel comment what do you think what do you like what did you hate let everyone know about that our content if you like it or not i want to show you uh something i picked up this is a set of damascus matching blades these i picked up at a gun show and they're from an organization called veterans oath and their mission is to get homeless veterans off the street. I'll put a link in the description of Veterans Oath. I picked this up from the gun show from them to support them. So what we've been looking at or waiting for me to talk about is the Smith & Wesson FPC. This is it. And right now it looks crazy until you do the magic bam of unfolding the rifle there it is the smith and weston fpc nine millimeter carbine a really cool rifle that is easily competing with Keltec in their folding rifles we're gonna start from the front, kind of work our way back on what we have. Now this is polymer rifle. So the, the upper, the lower area, the rail, the stock, all polymer. Steel or metal where it counts. Now the cool thing this rifle comes with, so let's start with actually the bag. It comes in a cool bag in its own carrying case, small and protective. Inside the case, rifle folded here, and there are several pockets, extra magazines, cleaning supplies, everything fits in this nice package, and I think that's really, really cool. The rifle itself, Let's roll into some shooting footage, just real quick, so you can see that, that we've been shooting this rifle. Okay, so there's some of that shooting footage. So from the front to the rear, we're not gonna talk about any of the accessories that are on it right now. We're just gonna talk about the rifle itself. So it's a 16 inch barrel. So this is not considered a pistol, this is a rifle. It comes with a threaded uh, muzzle, which is pretty cool, with a thread protector on it. It's half by 28. So you can in, put any half by 28 threaded adapter, um, suppressor, anything you want. Moving back across the rail, this is all polymer. It is full Picatinny across the top, an M-lock, at your three, six, and nine. So that's pretty cool. Lots of room for attachments. As we move back, now this is a 
uh, direct blowback weapon. So there is no gas tube uh, on the rifle. And you'll notice when I, <laughs> there you go. There isn't a gas tube, because you can't. I just showed you how the rifle uh, folds. So there's a little lever right here, push it forward, rifle comes back, locks in with the charging handle into the M lock and you're good to go. Bring it forward, bang, locks it in. The, it's, you can't really call it an upper and lower receiver because it's really all just one piece right here. The safety, crossbar safety right here. Okay. Magazines, it comes with 117 round magazine. And I'm gonna show you here in a second how we store the two 23 round magazines that come with it. Uh, this weapon is clear, I cleared it before the video. The trigger. Yeah, you can right on that scope. Uh, is, eh, not completely horrible, okay? So the trigger, um, it's got some take up for sure, and then a little bit more creep before it breaks. So it's, it's not terrible but it, it, it works. It's got a um, safety here. Moving back, here's your charging handle. It's a very interesting charging handle. It's, uh, I guess you could call it ambidextrous because either, either side that you pull on, it's gonna come back. When you are going to release the bolt, I highly recommend that you just charge it again pull the charging handle back, let it go forward because the bolt release on this rifle is terrible and very, very, very hard. It's very hard to release. I highly recommend that you just, <clears throat> see, pull it back and let it go. The buttstock is a fixed buttstock, not adjustable, and it actually has a spot to hold both of your two 23 round magazines. The way you release your magazines is you just push this little lever on the bottom right here, all right? And then your magazine slides out. It is side specific, which I guess is kind of cool. That way you don't drop your magazines. And these are your two 23 round magazines that come with it. Now, these are Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 magazines. Any uh, of the Smith & Wesson pistols that use or rifles like the Smith & Wesson Response will review on, so check that out. They fit into because the grip on this is your Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 grip. Let's go ahead and roll into some more footage of us sh uh, shooting the rifle so you can see that we are at th actually out there using it. Ooh, that was some bad shooting. The optics. One thing you'll notice, these rifles, the Picatinny is up here on the barrel. But what he has added is a Picatinny attachment that actually brings the Picatinny rail over the receiver part up here, which lets us bring our optic back into a more comfortable and effective shooting position. You never want to put your optics on the, on the muzzle, if, on the, the rail above your, your, your uh, barrel if you can help it. Accuracy wise, this one's not the greatest. Is it gonna work for close quarter engagements, 50 yards, 75 yards, probably at best. Maximum 100 yards. Trying to stretch out any further with this, this rifle, I think you're gonna struggle. And we're gonna put this to the test and really see where we are with that. But overall, this has turned out to be a really cool rifle that I'm really starting to enjoy shooting. I didn't think I would. There's my take on this. Now all the specs about 
the type of steel, what kind of barrel, all that stuff. All Here's all that stuff right here for you. I don't need to bore you with all those details. You know how to read. You're really here to find out, do we like the rifle and would we buy it? We like the rifle, yes, we would buy it. Smith & Wesson FPC folding pistol caliber carbine rifle. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, make sure you share. Check out the Veterans Oath for some of these rifles. I'll put the link in the description below. Until next time, we'll see you on the Tactical Llama.